Hello everyone. The short film that you are about to see is one that I did back in March of 2015 called Choices. Choices follows the story of an introverted teenager named Daniel who is constantly getting picked on by the school's bully, Trevor. With the help of a new friend he makes called Jack and with the school's psychologist, Mr. Reyes, they help try to turn Daniel's life around into making good choices into his life. This was a very fun project to be working on, but again, I will talk about the entire making of process and the story and my experience with it. I'll talk about all of that in next week's video when I talk about the making of choices. So please enjoy Choices. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here, here, here. Oh. <laughs> Why aren't you saying anything? I, I, I was afraid. Afraid of what? You really gotta stand up for yourself. After all, it is high school. Just using the, uh, the bathroom. We were using yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're headed to uh, class, I assume. Class, yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. We're going there. Uh, we're going to class, right, right, right now. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> must be Daniel. Do you understand why you're in here, Daniel? Did I do something wrong? No. It's not what you're doing that's the problem. It's what you're not doing. A student came in here and scheduled a meeting for you. He figured you'd need it. And frankly, I'm inclined to agree with him. Who was it? Jack. You must be Jack. In the flesh. So, how was the meeting? It was good. Yeah, Mr. Reyes can really get inside your head. I have a question. Why did you schedule a meeting for me? Well, I've noticed that Trevor has been bullying you a lot and you don't really do anything about it. So I figured I'd give you the extra boost. But like I said, you really need to stand up for yourself. So, are we friends? Of course we are. After all, we make the best whiskey. So 
So, hold on. The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, correct? Exactly. Oh, okay. Because I was getting right. kind of confused in that with algebra. Uh, yeah. I, it, you're gonna get it done that too. I don't know. I guess not. Right. Dude, what's up, dick brain? Leaving out saying goodbye? Leave him alone, Trevor. <laughs> Who is this, Dan? Your boyfriend? I'm actually his friend. I'm like you, Trevor. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this later, loser! That was so awesome how you just did it to Trevor like that. Well, that's exactly what you should do to Trevor. My stuff, I like. Hello, Mr. Reyes. Oh, hello there, Daniel. How are you today? I'm good. Good. You're lucky you're in pretty good mood. Yeah, I made a new friend today. Or, at least my only friend. Oh yeah? What's his name? Jack Martinez. Oh yeah, the kid who recommended for our meetings, yes? Yeah, and yesterday he helped me out with Trevor. You know, Jack just told him to back off. And then Trevor just walked away. But did you say anything to Trevor? See, so you let Jack do all the talking. Yeah. Alright, well, no matter what you do, remember though, violence is never the answer for solving these problems. Remember that. I will. Good. Um, why'd you want to do your homework at my house? Well, you see. My parents are going through some tough times, you know, with them being divorced, but still live in the same house. They practically don't know I exist. Well, I know you exist. Thanks, man. You know, sometimes I feel like you're the only person I can talk to other than Mr. Reyes. Maybe it's because I am. So, so you've heard, huh? Yes. Sadly, I have. Daniel, I'm so sorry. I give Jack's family my condolences. Yes. Because, you know, people like Jack deserve to die. Someone who helps you, becomes your friend, and is all around a great person. Well, Daniel, we can't control the world the way we want to. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So then what's the point of being good? Or just plain living? Is that what this goddamn world has become? Full of dumbasses who can just kill whenever the hell they want to? Or bad people who watch kids suffer and watch them bleed and in no way feel goddamn empathy? Why do the good people go? Why, damn it, answer me! I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Well, it's difficult for us to control our feelings at a time like this. You seem to be doing pretty well. Again, I'm, I'm sorry I put you through all this trouble. It's okay. Just go to class. 
Okay. Hey, Daniel. What? Nothing? Typical. Trevor, please. I'm not in the mood. Is it about Jack? Yeah, I heard about him. Car accidents, they're the worst way to go. What a guy. Kinda miss him. I mean, if I could see him one more time, I'll probably laugh in his face. <laughs> Stupid kid. <laughs> this right now? No. It's because of the choice that you made. Think about Jack. Right? He was a great person. He didn't make good choices all the time. Now, now, Trevor, I don't know how many good choices a person like that has made, if any, in his life. You see what makes you different? is that you didn't know if standing up to Trevor would be good or if it would be bad. But Jack and I, we tried to teach you what you should and shouldn't do, what was the right path and what was the wrong path to take. And what did it feel like when you were fighting Trevor? Like I was 
doing something wrong? That's because you were doing something wrong. And I need you to remember that. Remember what exactly? Choices make up who you are. What's the point of being good or just plain living? Well, I've noticed that Trevor has been bullying a lot. I don't really do anything about it. So I figured I'd give you the extra boost. But like I said, you really need to stand up for yourself. It's not what you're doing that's the problem. It's what you're not doing. Is that what this goddamn world has become? Full of dumbasses who can just kill whatever the hell they want to. Or bad people who watch kids suffer and watch them bleed and in no way feel goddamn empathy. Why do the good people go? Why, damn it, answer me! I won't be doing this anymore. I've made my choice.